What's up everyone? Welcome back to a video. I'm Kiara. Today's video, I will be reviewing another razor product. Um, I'm gonna review the Razorblade 15 inch laptop. Uh, I don't really know the rest of the specs, I'm gonna be real with you. Uh, knowing me, I'm very cheap, I got the base model. So let's just jump right in, right? So the reason I got this computer is because I've always wanted a Razer computer. Um, a lot of like gamers have this computer, a couple of hackers have this computer. I am not a hacker, but I'm really into security. So a lot of those people um, have this computer and it seems beefy, right? So it, it can do everything that I needed to do. So initial thoughts when I got it was that like it's heavy. Um, coming from a 13 inch MacBook Pro, like screen is crazy big. Look at that. Yeah. Um, trackpad at the bottom is pretty big. It's kind of annoying. And then like, you know, I'm a developer predominantly. Um, I mean, clearly this makes it look like I'm not a developer, but I'm a developer. So switching to Windows is such a controversial thing. Um, and if I got any other Windows computer, it'd be like a Dell XPS with like Linux running on it. So the biggest thing I had to consider is like, would I put Linux on this? And for this one, I said, no, I really wanted to like full force have my entire workflow on Windows. And so you might be asking, why is your computer dead? You have noticed. Um, it's because I switched from this computer. It is nothing wrong with this computer. I love it. I like having a Windows laptop, but it was slowing down my workflow. So, you know, upgraded back to a MacBook or what have you. But for this particular review, the biggest thing that I want you to know is to stay off Reddit, right? So Reddit, um, Razor, I think is the subreddit name. They talk a lot about like battery bloat and everything like that. So that was good to know up front, like the problems you can have, but I found myself like really stressing over that a lot. <laughs> like I just went, you know, this is this is an expensive computer. It ain't cheap, you know, it's like MacBook prices. Um, it's like the most expensive Windows computer I've owned. I was like, man, this is like, this is nice. The specs are nice. Um, and yeah, it just, I was like, let me get Geek Squad, you know? Because you never know. And I bought this from Best Buy. So you really never know. I used to work in the warehouse. <laughs> so I put Geek Squad on it. The guy mentioned, you know, check the subreddit. Really good. I got Geek Squad because of the, the battery blow. But I don't think you have those problems if you understand ventilation. Like granted, I've only had this for a year. So maybe what I have to say um, really doesn't apply here. But I think I've had pretty great success with my computer. Um, so what I will tell you, if you're using this computer, one, it's extremely annoying to figure out how to get like, I don't know if it's a Windows thing, but this computer in clamshell mode um, to work with a monitor. And so in this corner, I have my uh, curved monitor, my 32 inch curved monitor. And it was, it was bad, you know, I'm always, I always had the computer open like this and like my monitor. And it made no sense because I only use this monitor. Uh, it's just better for like me with coding and stuff. And I couldn't figure it out. That took like two months. And so basically you have to go into your settings and you have to change it to where, uh, you know, the screen is off. And so technically your external monitor is your only screen. You know, make sure that the computer doesn't cut off when you uh, close it. So you have to change the battery. Um, to never on charge and it's a lot of stuff, man. So if you don't want to go through that, don't get this computer. So uh, you might be wondering what the speakers sound like. I think the speakers are fine. Um, if you go back to my other video, my Razer Hammerhead headphones, I used them with this computer for a while because I got them months apart. <laughs> eh. Like, I wouldn't say it's the best combination. I've had greater success with over-ear headphones with this computer in particular. Uh, the over-ear headphones I've used are um, a pair of Sony's, I don't know, the noise canceling, and then a pair of Anchor noise canceling. And most recently, um, 
Or actually, no, I haven't even tried these with my, my newer um, over ears. But those two were really solid, really good headphones. And uh, I think it was better using those and using the mic um, that comes on this machine as and using the speakers. So for me, I'm always listening to music while coding. So it's very important that like, even if I'm playing it out of the computer, you know, it, it sounds good, really. Uh, next, we'll move on to the keyboard. The keyboard, the keyboard sucks, man. <laughs> That's really the biggest downfall for me. Um, it's very flat, which I know like you expect out of a laptop, but I find that I like this computer better when I'm using external keyboards. Um, so my keyboard of choice at the moment, I can show you the MX uh, Mech Mini. Love some mechanical keyboards. I officially have a shit ton. I officially also have like a ton of Logitech uh, keyboards in general that I've tried over the past year. But regardless, get an external keyboard for this. Everyone knows I have an external keyboard for mouse or external mouse for laptops, so I'm just not gonna talk about that. But definitely like, when you use an external and come back to this laptop keyboard, you, you find the problems with it. Um, and that's what I found. Like at first it was like, oh, it's cool, it's RGB and da 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 da. And then like, you start using it for longer than a month and it's like, I hate this thing. <laughs> you know, and it's very, um, don't know if you can hear that but it's very like clicky as well but it, it's not mechanical um, or anything like that keys are flat they feel pretty plasticky but yet also sturdier than the like 2017 um macbook pros but it just it just wasn't comfortable for me i will say i could be extremely biased i do have ra and and stuff like that in my hands. So I'm very picky um, long-term about my keyboard choice and my mouse choice. Uh, visually, computer was fine. Like I said, I, if, you know, I like coding outside of my desk, but I find that I, this computer for me shines the most um, when connected to external monitors, uh, computers in general, but like this one, I think because of the size, I just, I like plugging it up to and just getting a bigger <laughs> a screen you know i wasn't really doing a lot from this screen once i could figure out how to do a single external monitor view and what else i guess down to the rating uh oh wait pause let me tell you about putting this in bags this laptop is kind of sort of heavy um so you know i try out bags all the time um, my favorite bag right now is in case and yeah it's it's a little thick you know it's a, it's a little thick but i will say um it felt comfortable it wasn't it wasn't so thick that like it was the heaviest part of my bag you know it fit um like every bag that i own so i didn't really have a problem with that um also i guess i should say like when you put it in sleep mode, technically your computer fans can kind of run a little bit longer. It didn't like, didn't feel any heat coming off of it. Uh, it didn't like smash into the screen in the bag or nothing like that, which is more of a testament to the bag. But just saying, putting this in your bag is still comfortable. Um, if you're using this as a college laptop, which I highly recommend, if you're pure Windows, want a game and do like whatever, I think this is worth it. Did I game on this computer? No, but the type of coding I do, it was really like resource heavy, which is why I beefed it up. Like I got a beefier Windows computer for travel. Um, and it was good. Like, I mean, I might not have gamed on this per se, but I was running blockchain uh, stuff from this computer, you know? So if that gives you any indication with the way GP prices were the past year, um, and the ports, there's a lot of ports. So we got USB-C here. I don't have a monitor, it's USB-C. Headphone jack, one, two, uh, normal USBs, HDMI, another USB-C on the other side. One thing I really do wish they had done is like for your power cord, I wish it was USB-C. Instead, it's like one of those uh, custom or old school power cords. 
But you know, whatever, man. <laughs> Beggars can't be choosers type of thing. It is what it is. Uh, but anyways, wrapping this up. Uh, my general score of this, I give this computer, uh, if we ignore the <laughs> Mac, Linux, Windows war, I might say it's a solid eight out of 10. I, like I said, I found some things I didn't like. I, um, major things that were off for me was the keyboard and mouse feel, and then the potential for the battery swell. I think those are pretty important to consider, but overall, this is a really solid computer. So whether you need it for work, you want to game, you want to be a like full out heavy developer, uh, you, you want college computer that allows you to game, I think this is a good choice. Price point kind of sucks, but functionality wise, I think I stress test computers a lot better than most people because of the work that I do in this. This is a really good computer. It didn't even, like Android Studios didn't even stress out this computer and it stresses out every computer and every human that uses it. Um, so yeah, eight out of 10, really, really good computer. Really, really good Windows computer. I know I'm an Asus stand, but this particular computer I think is fairly solid and can go in my top five. So hope you enjoyed the review. Let me know if you have any other questions if you have this computer, have different views, things I should try, optimize my use on it, let me know and I'll see you in the next video.